Lead Shiktas is a giant member of the Pachacormidae, an extinct group of Mesozoic gray finned fish that lived in the oceans of the Middle Jurassic period. It is the largest ray finned fish known to have existed. Lead Shiktas was a huge bony plankton eating fish that lived around 165 million years ago. A number of skeletal remains of the creature have been uncovered over the years but haven't preserved well meaning no one was really sure just how large the fish could grow. Late Shiktas was around for at least 10 million years in the middle and upper Jurassic. Although its relatives, all Pachycormid fish, continued to successfully suspension feed on plankton through the rest of the age of the dinosaurs until the end of the Cretaceous 66 million years ago. The largest examples were in the 13 to 20 feet range and never again quite in the same league as Lechictus. The name suggests Lechictus is a problematic fish. The Lechictus was a huge fish, probably the biggest fish ever to swim the seas. Its fossilized bones were discovered in England in 1889 by a fossil collector, Alfred Leeds. The full scientific name Lechictus problematicus is a mixture of Latin and Greek. Nobody has ever found a complete Lechictus skeleton. It's not clear how big exactly Lechictus problematicus grew. Modern estimates put it at 50 to 75 feet long, making it the biggest fish ever, bigger than the whale shark or the megalodon. Not everyone agrees, however. Some scientists argue that lead shikas only grew to a length of 9 meters or 27 feet. Lead shikas was not a shark but a kind of bony fish. It had bones like most other fish. Sharks have cartilage instead. Although it was the largest fish, it was not the largest vertebrate. That honor goes to the blue whale. Lead shikas had 40,000 teeth. Despite this and its enormous size, Lechictus would have been harmless, like the whale shark and the blue whale. Lechictus most likely lived on plankton. It would swim near the surface of the sea, drinking huge gulps of water and filter out the plankton with two bony plates at the back of its throat. If it were alive today, it would be the highlight of a scuba diver's career to swim with one.